friends welcome back so today we will learn about how to find out the area of rectangle and square so before i start first we need to learn the meaning of this term area what is an area area is the amount of surface a closed figure covers is called its area or the space occupied by a closed figure by any shape is called its area for example if i will draw a rectangle here then the area will be this one the space occupied by this shape okay same in case of square or any closed figure triangle this means this area this will be our area in the case of triangle this will be the space occupied by a shape okay now the unit of area is always square unit we always measure the area in square unit for example if the dimensions of rectangle are given in centimeter then its area will be when we multiply the units also centimeter multiplied by centimeter we will get square centimeter or we can write like this centimeter square we will write two here as a superscript okay if we multiply meter and meter now suppose that dimensions are given in meter then meter and meter when we multiply these two we will get square meter or it will become meter square we can write like this also so now we will learn how to find out the area of rectangle in this given rectangle a b c d these two a b and c d are lengths and b c and a d these two are breadth okay so the formula to find out the area of rectangle is l multiplied by b where l stands for length and b stands for breadth so if in a rectangle we know that what is the length and what is the breadth so we can easily find out the area by applying this formula l multiplied by b but if in a question area is given and we know the breadth then how to find out the length then in that case to find out the length we will divide the area by breadth or if we know the length and we have to find out the breadth then in that case we will divide the area by its given length okay so there are basically three formulas area of rectangle is equal to l multiplied by b and these two we derive from this formula only length is equal to area divided by breadth and if we have to find out the breadth then breadth is equal to area divided by length okay let's solve one question find the area of rectangle if length is 10 cm and breadth is 8 cm we know both the dimensions so it's very easy to find out the area we know that area is equal to l multiplied by b okay we know the length also it is 10 cm and breadth is 8 cm so now first we will multiply 10 and 8 10 8 ja 80 and these units centimeter and centimeter will also be get multiplied when we multiply centimeter and centimeter we will get square centimeter or we can write like this 80 centimeter square here okay so this will be our answer now let's solve one more question so the question is if area of rectangle is 440 square cm the length of the rectangle is 22 cm and find its breadth so these two things are given we know the area and we know the length and we have to find out the breadth okay so let's solve 
area is 440 square centimeter. You can write like this. Length is given 22 centimeter and we have to find out the breadth. Okay. So we know the formula to find out the breadth. Breadth is equal to area divided by length. Okay. The area here is 440 centimeter square. And we know the length also. Length is 22 centimeter. Okay. So from this centimeter here, centimeter is coming two times. So we will cut this. Okay. Now we will divide 440 by 22. So let's divide it. 440 divided by 22. We know that 22 twos are 44. 0 will come here. And this. So this means here what will come? 20 centimeter. The breadth will be 20 centimeter. Okay. So now we will learn how to find out the area of square. Here I have drawn a square and we know that in a square all the sides are equal in length. So its area can be obtained by multiplying its any of two sides. So for example in this given square ABCD we can multiply any two sides. AB multiplied by BC or any other two sides because we know that all the sides are equal in length. So the formula is side multiplied by side. For example, if I draw square here, KL, P, M and its east side measures 7 cm. It will also be 7 cm, 7 cm and this also. So its area will be side multiplied by side. And we know that each side is 7 cm. 7 multiplied by 7. We know that 7 7 is 49. And when we multiply centimeter in centimeter, we will get centimeter square. Or we can say 49 square centimeter. So let's solve one more question of area of square. So the question is find the area of square having side as 10.5 centimeter. For example, if this is a square, this means if this is 10.5, so this will be 10.5, this also and this one also. All the four sides will be equal. So its area will be side multiplied by side. Okay. We know the dimension of each side. It is 10.5. Unit is centimeter and this is also 10.5 centimeter. So now first we will multiply these two. 10.5 and this. 5 5 is 25. 5 and 5. 0 0 0 and 1 5 is 5 0 1. We will get 5 2, 5 plus 5, 10, 1, 1. So, 1, 1, 0, 2, 5. And there was decimal also here. 10.5 and 10.5. So, here the decimal is after leaving one digit. And here also. So, we will add this 1 plus 1, 2. This means we will leave two places from the right side and put the decimal here. So, answer will be 1, 1, 0, point 25 and centimeter and centimeter will also be get multiplied and we will get centimeter square. This means the area of the square will be 110.25 centimeter square. So I hope that now you understood how to find out the area of rectangle and square. So friends, if you like this video, then please share it and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks for watching it. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.
take care